one of the focuses of sports massage is that we're becoming a little more anatomically specific. We want to know where it starts, where it ends, the direction of the fiber, and what it does so that we can follow it. If we want to go parallel with the fiber, we know because we have that map of the anatomy in our mind. Um, it's just not fair. So we start out by just applying some oil to the back. It says to include effleurage um, as well as alternating effleurage. And we're really going for getting a feel for the lay of the land and for um, where the tension is, where the muscles are, where the bony landmarks are showing up, warming up the tissue. And then we pick a side. I'm going to start with her right side. And for biomechanics, I take a knee. And I'm working from the acromion process in towards the base of the neck, doing kneading, kneading up the back of the neck to the occiput. And then along that same area, I can use a light pressure. I remember John telling you, cross fiber is used for finding things. You use kind of a medium pressure, and you just cross fiber to feel where are the muscle fibers feeling uh, hypertonic, where are they sticking. And so it's really a good diagnostic tool that cross fiber, and when you find stuff, that's the second part, melting in. Okay. And I want to emphasize that we go uh, from occiput to a chromium process, not necessarily in that order, but covering all the upper trapezius between those two bony landmarks, looking for areas that have tension and melting into them. This is different than what we've been doing before. Before it's just been a, then B, then C, then D. Here we want to take the time to feel for the tension and be on the tension. All right. Facing down the table, I'm going to put the uh, medial hand, the inside hand down, doing circular effleurage. This is very similar to what you've seen before, but I want the pressure to be more compressive and think about moving fluid circulatory refreshment. After a big part of what we're doing is moving fluid and you can think about taking a tube of toothpaste and opening a, the lid and just squeezing the toothpaste out onto the, uh, the sink. Just squeeze it all out the same way that um, we would effleurage and petrissage the arm, the back, the teres uh, major, the lats, we're moving fluid within that soft tissue. Anytime we refer to effleurage in the context of sports massage, we can assume that at the beginning of that is a kind of hidden, silent, compressive adjective to it, compressive effleurage. We want it to be moving fluids, squeezing the toothpaste out of the tube. 